Berlin Festival 2012. I'm with Mike Snow. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good, good. How are you? I'm fine. A little tired. But you too, I heard. Well, yeah, we got. We just got here from New York, so I, I'm, I feel great. I feel fresh as a daisy. This year you um, published your second uh, album. Was it m more difficult to produce uh, the second one, or uh, what was uh, the difference between the first and the second album? I think the only thing different was that we knew we had an audience this time. We just made the songs, and then this record, we knew we were already a touring band, and and that we had fans, sort of. So we knew we were going to have the opportunity to make something that people would hear as a record. So I think it made us think more about making an album. How do you rehearse or how do you do you work? Because uh, you guys live in Sweden right now and, and you live in, in, in the States. Are you? For this last record, I moved to Sweden for six months and we made the album. There. How was it? Yeah. Do you like Sweden? Great, great. It was great. Yeah. The first the first month felt like a month. The second month felt like three weeks and four days. The third month felt like two days. Strange. The fourth month felt like a week and two days. The fifth month felt like um, a year. And the sixth month felt like a month. So it was... It was, for me, it was, I, I consider it to be two years and four months of my life, but it was actually only six months. And when, when did you decide to, to form a band? Uh, pretty early. And why? <laughs> yeah, why? We regret that now. <laughs> too late. Uh, it's too late. But one time we needed, there was something came loose in the studio and I actually showed the, these guys that it is possible to actually hammer a nail into a piece of wood using your shoe. All right. And they were pretty impressed by that. They'd never seen that, that particular trick before. And uh, a few tears were shed. Um, and then we decided to move on to the next logical conclusion, which was to start making music. And it worked from the, from the first day on? Did it work? It or? did, it did. We had a f did, yeah. Did you just struggle? The first day felt like uh, five days. The <laughs> second day felt like two minutes. The third day, uh, I don't know. The third day is when we also started doing our organic farming side of our business. All right. So the goats came in. There was quite a bit of racket that day, I remember. Not much music got done. Do you still have the goats? Uh, currently dead, sorry. Yeah. Trying to For figure the goats. out. Trying to currently, currently, that is. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see tomorrow. Trying to figure out a solution for that. I, I read you wrote um, the music for a ballet. Is that yes. true? How did it come? Wayne McGregor came to see a show that I did with uh, Mark Bronson and then he asked Mark if he wanted to work on some music for a ballet and then Mark called me and uh, Mark and I wrote the music together and then we put the ballet on in April. What was the most memorable uh, situation on tour you had? It kind of happened recently where there was nearly a Mortal Kombat throwdown between uh, the guitar player in a very famous metal band and our band. But it all ended quite amicably. Which you won't was, drop names? Which was a wonderful, a very, really, really relief that it ended that way. Because it, it ended as good as it started, basically. <laughs> But why? What was the fight about? It was just, you know, weird tour antics when you don't have anything else to do all day but drink. Which for me is every day. Now, if you could excuse me. Okay, thank you very much. It was nice. No, have a good show. Thank you, guys.